Almost 10 years ago, I was diagnosed with a rare disease. Everyone was certain I was going to die. That's when I realized that healing and hope won't come from chemicals mixed in any lab. And I needed something much bigger to make me better. Glamour Box is my way of reminding everyone, you have a beautiful soul and a glamorous life. Live it to the fullest and brace yourself because the best is yet to come. Hi Aries, welcome to my channel. We're doing your dailies. We're skipping a bunch of days because Sal had to finish the monthlies and the weeklies. We're starting off with the 6 to the 7, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So let's see what you guys have for me. This is gonna be for Aries, December 6 and 7. How is everybody? Everybody, how is everybody? Everybody. Six to seven, here we go, Aries. Got here, temperance, uh, Sagittarian energy, of course. Let me see. Oh, let's pick a one for you guys. Let's pick a one. Aries always gets the part where it's like, I pick the one for everyone. Let me see. Let's get the one. Here we go. Ooh, love it. I'm not sure what it is, but I love it. Okay. Okay, well, it's colored green and something. It's not a bloodstone. Um, there's citrine, there's amber. Okay. I'm sure it's a wand though. That's for sure. <laughs> not sure what the crystal is. So, temperance. What's going on here? I'm trying to make it work, make it happen. Enjoying a good drink, basically. Look at this one. Someone pouring in a pitcher. Okay. So someone here is looking at the positive side of the situation. Is that what it's called? Optimist. They're being optimist at the situation. Okay. Let me see the other person. Other person is the moon card. Okay. I feel like you're missing or longing for this person. There's an energy between the two of you that is just like, well, you know what? Um, there were good things in the past, and if I can only hug this person again, you know, vice versa for a cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Pisces also, or a Cancerian at the same time. Can be far from you, so you're looking at, um, and you're not looking at pictures, you're reminiscing the moments. Okay, good times basically here. Let's see. Oh, and Ten of Cups, well, definitely. They said shared something. Love at its finest. Okay, so this is two people trying to work out a relationship, trying to work out, you know, this is what I do for you, this is what you do for me, you know. Both are giving here, which is very refreshing, that's good. Okay, both are giving, Um, can be connected with a Leo, both are giving to the connection, understanding that, you know, that love between them is strong enough to make it work and make it happen. And you have here the Page of Pentacles, however, I feel like the person sometimes do vanish, because he's a Pied Piper. You know how the Pied Piper just start whistling and then they took away all the kids but they're not taking your kids i don't think so okay nobody's taking their kids calm down okay i just feel like this person has an energy where when they want to show up they show up and when they want to go they go okay because as a, as a moon it's unpredictable so you're connecting with someone who's unpredictable and yet you love them and yet they love you okay Got the King of Swords, Aquarian Energy. So this is happening in your 11th house. So meaning, this person is a little bit distant right now and they're about to fulfill their dreams. Moksha, okay? So this can be you though, finally fulfilling your dreams and meeting someone that resonates with love with you. So someone is giving love towards you. Oh, Ace of Pentacles, definitely someone. Someone's giving that Pentacles. That's a big one right there. An opportunity to... Make things grounded and solid. Someone here can be younger, um, Aries, younger than you, okay? And I feel that they're more on the situation of, okay, I'm about to make an offer, but I don't know how because of the cycles that you guys have gone through. They do have good intention of loving you and giving you, you know, this emotional support. However, right now, they feel like they're not fit for, well, basically fit for you. So there's, an, there's a discrepancy between the energy of how ready they are to commit and how ready you are to commit. You're more ready. I feel like they're not. They're about to with the Ace of Pentacles, and that's why they're about to give this offer to the um, 
King of Swords. Okay, so I'm going to continue this reading, Aries, as we move forward. The dailies are going to be a little bit different from the weeklies and stuff, um, you know, with, with regards to the setup. I mean, just no card here, all right? So thank you very much, Aries, for watching. Have a wonderful end. Oh, no, it's not end of the year, so I'll come down. It's the 6th to the 7th. Dailies, I'll see you guys again. Have a wonderful day, Aries. Bye. Miss you.